So as we were busy in the laboratory, the basic research laboratory, working out the ABCs of inflammation in arterial biology and atherosclerosis, my clinical colleagues, notably a very gifted uh, younger scientist and physician, Paul Ritker, who works in our division at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, uh, was hard at work finding some ways in which one could make the link between the science that was coming from the laboratories, ours and many others around the world, and patients. And the missing link there was a very faithful and reproducible marker of inflammation that can be measured with a simple and inexpensive blood test, C-reactive protein, measured with a special high sensitivity assay, so we call it uh, HSCRP. And Dr. Ritker led a variety of studies over the course of 15 years or so that first established that the levels of C-reactive protein in apparently well people would add to the traditional risk factors, the well-established risk factors, in helping us refine the, the prediction of having a first ever cardiovascular event, such as a heart attack or a stroke. And then the next step was to ask the question, can we use the C-reactive protein as a tool in order to target therapy to people who look relatively low risk according to their traditional risk factors? but still have some of this inflammation smoldering in their body in a way that might promote atherosclerotic events without having any danger signals from the traditional risk factors like cholesterol, or blood pressure, et cetera. So Dr. Ritker designed and conducted a large clinical trial which enrolled people who had average levels of LDL, no evidence of cardiovascular disease, and nonetheless had a signal that they had some inflammation that was somewhere driving a increase in their C-reactive protein above what's average for the population. And those individuals were randomized to a statin drug or not. The statins, in addition to lowering LDL, which itself can be anti-inflammatory, probably have a direct anti-inflammatory effect. And that trial, which is known as Jupiter, showed that the people who were picked out of the general public, the apparently well, by having slight elevations in their C-reactive protein, benefited extraordinarily from the statin therapy in reducing a variety of hard endpoints, such as heart attack, stroke, and also venous thromboembolism. A cardiovascular event which is not driven by our traditional coronary risk factors. So that was a very exciting translation to the clinic of the concept of inflammation. But a lot remains to be done. A lot of questions need to be answered. I think the frontier of this area, being led by Dr. Ritker among others, is to ask the question, can we target inflammation as a way to forestall further cardiovascular events in people who are on all of our contemporary therapies for reducing atherosclerotic events but still have some smoldering inflammation as gauged by slight elevations in CRP. So that's really where we need to go with the inflammation hypothesis to see if we can use a intervention that can quell inflammation if we can actually benefit patients. And that question is open and we hope to be spending much of the next five or six years answering that important residual question in trying to bridge from the laboratory into the clinic using C-reactive protein.